Welcome back to the Booster Jaden YouTube channel. Today we're going to install a RPM gauge Defendi in the TM Swift. Let's get into it. Today's Defendi gauge is going to be mounted right about here on the dash. Can I zoom? That's better. So I'm going to put it about there. And then we've got our wires. I've already started dismantling stuff because otherwise it just takes far too long. Here's our wires, which consists of the 12 volt to the battery. So this one. TM ain't about to lose a hood. So this one goes to the battery, the red one. The orange one goes to accessory power. The white one would go to illumination. Blue is your vehicle speed sensor for your RPM gauge. And black is earth. We're not going to connect up the white one because I don't have my owner's manual with me and I'm not too sure which wire to tap into because nearly every wire in behind here, look, modified up the top there, there's a lot of Oh, there's a lot of wiring that goes to this car, I can tell you that for free. Heaps of it. So, we're going to start by doing our... I've already disconnected the battery, hence the reason the hood's up. So make sure you disconnect your battery when doing an RPM gauge install. We're going to start with the vehicle speed sensor wire, which is the blue wire. In some cases, and well in most cases, it will be a green wire. Your gauge might be different, so bear that in mind. We're going to take the blue wire, and I've already marked out on the body control module, which, just bear with me while I try and get out of this car without the door slamming in my face. Pretty hard work to get in and out of this thing. We've had to take the footrest off again. Yes, again. That's, yes, every week it comes off, I know. And then down here, I've already unplugged it. I shouldn't have unplugged it. But right there, at the very... So you have to look at the harness from the top here. There's one brown wire in the top. There's two plugs in this, okay? One of them's at the far left. One of them's at the closest to us, which is the right. When you're looking at it from the driver's side, which is the right-hand side of the vehicle, you have to, and this one's already kind of marked out, and I've already consulted with the Daily Swift. This wire here is the one that gets tapped into, and it's already been tapped before, several times by the looks of it. So we're going to clip and clamp onto that somehow so I'm going to quickly do that off camera but this is the wire just so that you know and then once we've clamped onto that we'll do the other one so I'm going to put the camera down because it's really awkward in the floor well of this car especially with all this bar and everything else in my way plus I'm on quite a slanted angle outside so I'm going to clamp that on and then come back to you Alright, so I have hooked up the vehicle speed sensor, but now we need to take an electrical kit, put it up there, and then we're going to look to the rest of these wires. So the rest of them are sitting right here. So we've got our orange, white, red, and black. I'm unsure if I'm going to hook up the white because I'm not too sure about illumination. But it should still work without illumination. It just means that it wouldn't dim down with the lights on the earth is well fairly straightforward actually because it's already got a little crimpy thing on it so that'd just go on the back of a bolt so it's our two power wires the red one should really go to the battery but i sense that it's not going to make it to the battery with how long it is the orange one can go to an accessory orange which i have found where they've wired in the current Defender gauges, which I'm going to try and wire it to that Defender gauge, and then it should work with all of them. So all of the gauges are going to be matching RPM gauge there, boost gauge over here, and then our water, oil, and pressure temperatures will be there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm probably going to reach into here. Oh, look at that spaghetti old mess. Take this one, 
much easier with it right out of the with proper access and we're literally just going to crimp it on there So we're back and I finally got the orange wires sorted. This is just a mess, eh? Like, I'm trying to make this video look professional and, well, it's impossible. But what I think we'll do now is we'll take, we may as well take illumination while we're in here. This will be illumination. And if it's not, well then I was wrong. Alright, now where are we up to? So we're up to the illumination wire, which is the white one, okay? So we're only down to red, white and black now. So that's two down, I think. So now we're going to do our illumination, which this one's all ready by the looks. This one will go sort it on here, we'll put the little one on this one, that one's a perfect one, perfect one on the first go even, Let's see if we can get the second one a, a, a good go, I'm actually just going to cut that one, I need to pre-put my climp on because if I don't then I'll lose it. Okay, so that's now illumination done, and now we've only got the red wire to do, which I'm unsure about the red one. I could just take it off this one, but then, no way, I don't know. No way that that wire will extend to the engine bay. Crimp on our last wire. So to there, that one to there, 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 and there, and then we're going to put this one in here. And then that should hopefully be it all done. All right, and now our last one is our earth, which we're going to attach the earth will probably go to just about anything. Gonna need a screwdriver. That one's far too small, but it seems to work. Take a cable tie and just cord up the wires a little bit to try help make it a little bit cleaner because there are a lot of wires in this TM. 
And if I put this one here, and then feed that one under, then at least I can get all of that tight. One wire go back down. This one plugs into there. I think that's it done. So we're gonna take the stereo base plate, which that's like right in front of the camera, and you can zoom it in and out it's pretty fun and cool anyways <coughs> it's all pretty much all color coded really can't actually go wrong with this i'm going to put it in gear four i'm going to plug in the head unit first followed by the antenna Followed by the RCAs, which that one goes on the bottom, red one goes in that one. And then just so that the microphone works, so I've got hands free Bluetooth and then our gauges. So that one's literally the main one water uh, that one's pink so that'll be temperature 2 and this one here will be temperature 3 so we've got gauges we've got everything yep and then there is this one at the very top there I always forget before we actually click that right the way back we're gonna now go under the hood and we're gonna put some power to the car all right so now we're gonna plug in the unit itself and then set it up on the dash we're going to push it back into neutral and we're going to hook up our negative terminal like that. We'll come back and tighten it in a minute. We'll do it on camera too so I don't forget like I always do. Push the door right open. Not white, right. And then... Oh. Actually sounds like it does work. Okay, let's, oh. Everything else working normally. Okay, so yes, it does smell a bit funky. I'm gonna go out of the car and perform some checks, make sure that everything's all right with our wiring and stuff, and then we'll come back and we'll see how good that gauge is. All right, so now we need to put some new fresh double side tape on the bottom of this Alright, so that's going to wrap up this video on the RPM gauge install, but before I finish, I just wanted to show you what it does. 
and I don't know if you can see it, but see how the little white light comes on when I flick the lights? That's pretty cool. I didn't think that it would work, but it actually does. So we're going to start it. <laughs> set the shift light, I just have it set to, in fact I can tell you what it, 4000 on that one, and then peak is four and a half, so that's good, that's all set, we've still got our normal RPM gauge and then we do have our rev lamp up here as well, which controls off this unit down here. C12 1300 RPMs, which is about where it's sitting, and it also says on there the RPM reading. So, plenty of RPM reading. So, I'm pretty happy with that. I opted to put it right there, and it does work well there. The only thing that I have to do is sort out the cables because they're kind of just dangling, but that's not really a big deal. So I'm not too bothered about that, but I'm pretty happy with that. And it works, and it works well, so yeah, that's going to wrap up this video. That's a successful install. Alright everyone, that's going to wrap up this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy the video, give it a thumbs down. It helps me to make these videos better also follow me on instagram if you're not already i'll leave the link here and in the description follow me there for more updates on what's going on with the cars also subscribe if you're not subscribed and i'll catch you in the next video